Ranganatha Swami Temple is dedicated to the deity of Ranganatha Swami who is a manifestation of Lord Vishnu. Sri Ranganath Swami Temple is located in island of Sri Rangapatna near Mysore city in state of Karnataka. You can find several Ranganathan Swami temples in South India. Few popular are located in Sri Rangam and Shivnas Mudra Kollegal of Chamrajnagar district. Sri Ranganath Swami Temple is one of Karnataka's largest and most revered shrines. The temple is 14 kilometers from Mysore and 125 kilometers from Bangalore. It is one of the five important pilgrimage sites of Sri Vaishnavism located on Holy River Kaveri also called the Pancharanga Kshetram. The temple is protected by the Archaeological Survey of India as a monument of national importance due to its antiquity. As per the historical records found, it is believed that temple was first built in 984 AD by the local chief called Tirumal of Western Ganga dynasty. Then, great Hosla king Vishnuvardhana had granted the village of Srirangapatna to the Vaishnav Saint Ramanuj Acharya Center of Learning and Hosla king Veera Ballala to had added features and renovate temple during 12th century. Then next level of addition happened during the Vijangara Empire presenting the Vijangara architecture style. The temple has an imposing tower over the Gopuyaram and two large concentric rectangular enclosures called Prakhra around its perimeter. The tower over the entrance stands features consistent with Vijangara architecture. The entrance to the Garbhagriha is through multiple enormously carved pillared halls, Mantapa. In the sanctum, the beautiful idol of Supreme Lord Vishnu reclines on the calls of the snake Adisesha under a canopy formed by the snake's seven hoods, with his consort Lakshmi at his feet. Also there are some small temples dedicated to God Garuna, Bhudevi, Brahma, Krishna, Narsimha, Shri Devi, Gopalakrishna and Hanuman built in temple premises. The statue of Garuna is the gold-plated deity. It is believed that in comparison to Ganga, Kaveri is more sacred and river Ganga herself used to come to wash the sins here. After some time Ma Kaveri was full of sins and she decided to pray to Lord Vishnu. The Lord awarded her three boons. One was that the Kaveri River would be more sacred than the Ganga. The second was Sri Rangapatna will be a pilgrimage and the third Lord Vishnu will always be there in the form of Ranganatha Swami. As per legend, River Kaveri had forms three big islands, Shivnasmudra of Karnataka, Sri Rangapatna and Sri Rangam. As per the local belief devotees who visit these three temples, all in a day will surely attain salvation. As Sri Rangapatna is island in holy river Kaveri and temple is surrounded by river Kaveri so pilgrims takes holy dip at Ghat before entering the temple premise. Devotee visits Ranganath Swami temple throughout the year but the best time to witness its glory is during the various festivals like Bangarda Garudotsava, Sri Ranga Jayanti, Sudha Purnima, Kotarotsava and Vyalotsava are celebrated here with great sea. Sri Ranganath Swami is prime attraction and located in heart of Sri Rangapatna. As Sri Rangapatna is one of the important historical and religious site close to Mysore, Karnataka and home to several ancient temples. Thus, it is easily accessible via road, rail and air network. Mysore has major railway station from where you can get train to all major station of India. You can get government and private vehicle from nearby cities to reach here by road. The nearest airport from Sri Rangapatna is Mysore Airport at 25 km. There are regular flights to Mysore from all major cities in the country. Sri Rangapatna is located at just 18 km from Mysore, 126 km from Bangalore, 
118 kilometers from Hassan and 60 kilometers from Talkadu.